Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again today for our Wednesday afternoon devotional. Our hope and prayer is again that something you hear will be something you need today. Before we get into the scripture, let's talk a little more about what's going on here at Mount Pisgah. Again, a little later this afternoon, join us for a time of prayer. We will gather uh, by way of Zoom and share and lift up our prayer concerns, and we do hope you will be a part of that. Thursday, we'll be working again with Must Ministries to distribute lunches to the children under the age of 18. We've said this before, but we can't take it for granted that everyone around us gets all the food they need to make it through the week, because that's simply not true. <clears throat> there are children in our area who depend on these lunches to get enough to eat every day. We realize, again, that the need is great and we are small, but we serve a great God. And he's given us this opportunity to minister in another way to our community. We've been having a good turnout each week. And if you would like to volunteer to help hand out the lunches, call our office and we can put you in touch with the right person. If you need lunches for your children, all you have to do is show up between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. tomorrow. Now let's talk a little bit about our uh, drive-in church services we've been having. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., we turn our ball field into a parking lot and have church. We sing, we worship, and we hear good preaching. We praise the Lord. Trust me, if you can ride in a car, you need to be here. We respect our fellow worshipers by staying inside our cars. We observe social distancing, and it's a great time of worship. So come join us. One more thing. VBS is right around the corner. It's amazing that it's coming up that quick. July 6th through the 10th, we will be having virtual vacation Bible school. There's lots of things going on as we speak to prepare for a great time. So stay tuned for more to come on that. We just heard a lot of plans that we've planned for things going on here at our church. But did you know that things don't always go the way you plan for them? Yeah, I'm sure you have had some instance where that didn't work for you either. And that's as true for churches as it is for us in our personal lives. I believe I just heard an amen from the folks who have been working with me on the drive-in church service every Sunday. But you know, even the prophets of old weren't immune to that either. Let's look, at, let's look at 1 Samuel 16, verse 1, and maybe a few more than that. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king of Israel. Now, it's hard to trust God with the details because we are folks that we like to know where we're going. I know I do. I'm a planner. I like to know the steps as I'm going. Now, for many years, Israel didn't have a traditional king. God had been their king, if you will, by leading his people uh, through judges and prophets. One of these was Samuel. But the people weren't satisfied. They wanted a king. They wanted to be just like everyone else. So God granted their wish and had Samuel appoint the first king of Israel. His name was Saul. Saul turned out to be a disaster. And when that happened, God sent Samuel to appoint a new king from the family of Jesse. Now this was a pretty big deal because Saul was still king when Samuel headed to the small town of Bethlehem to find his replacement. Put yourself in Samuel's shoes for a moment. God didn't provide Samuel with many details to identify the next king, not to mention the slight complication that Saul was still king. It's understandable that Samuel was nervous, and yet God asked Samuel to trust him and obey. This is what following God's will is all about. It's choosing to trust God over our fears. It's expecting God to fill in the details. A little personal story here. In the mid-80s, 
when we were first contacted about a position as music ministers on uh, staff at a church, we were nervous to say the least. We had been music evangelists for a while and had been traveling and singing and having a great time with no thought of doing anything else. But God had a different plan. We were in a comfortable place doing what was familiar to us. And when that question came up, if we would be willing to do this, we prayed about it as best we could and decided we should accept even though we had never done anything like this before. Well, God taught us how to be what he wanted us to be there. He helped us find people to get encouragement and advice from. Oh, we made some mistakes, but we learned things. And looking back now, we can see the road that God led us to exactly where we are today. If God had revealed all the things we would go through to get here, we might have tried to change some things. We might have tried to make it easier. Or we might have just said, forget it to the whole thing. But looking back, we can see the steps He directed us to take. Proverbs 16.9 says, The mind of man plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. Yeah, we had in our minds that we wanted to minister and serve. And we thought we knew the direction to go. And we had a plan. But then God directed our steps the way He wanted us to go. And He has blessed us more than I could ever have imagined. He's blessed us in ways that my plan didn't include. Often when God leads us in a new direction, He doesn't provide all the details. Like Samuel, God wants us to step out in obedient faith and trust Him to fill in the details. How is God asking you to step out in faith in your life? Will you take a moment and ask Him? Because I promise you, if you ask Him, He will direct your steps. Thank you again for joining us today. I hope it's been a blessing to you. And I hope you have a great afternoon. And don't forget to join us tonight for the, the prayer service. And then remember again for our uh, drive-in church service Sunday morning. And until next time, we'll see you. Thank you for joining us online today. We hope you were inspired by today's message and pray you'll consider giving to our ministry. Remember to keep in touch and check out our social media. On behalf of Pastor Davis and the entire Mount Pisgah Baptist Church family, we invite you to join us again. Until then, stay safe and God bless you.